Hello and welcome to KJ Designs, a channel with free graphics design tutorials. In this video, I will be showing you how to create this awesome looking logo in Affinity Designer with some secrets. So watch this video up to the end so that you don't miss out anything. Let's jump into Affinity Designer. After opening a new document of length and width 2000 pixels, we are going to start with drawing circle. A circle of radius 500 pixels. So grab your ellipse tool, construct a circle with 500 pixels as the radius. So grab your move tool. Align it to the center of the page. So we are going to create a duplicate. The next thing is to create a duplicate out of this sack of hours. So press Ctrl Command G on your keyboard. Then make sure that the radius of the duplicate is 200 pixels. So we are going to select all of these circles, the big one and the smaller one, using our move tool. Then align to the center and to the middle. Make sure that the smaller circle is in the middle of the bigger circle. So the next thing we are going to do is create four duplicates out of this smaller circle. Before going any further, make sure that the fill tool, the fill color is disabled. So remove it and remain with only this, the, the stroke color. So create four duplicates out of this smaller circle by pressing Ctrl or Command J four times. So after doing that, we are going to resize one side of the duplicate until it attaches the bigger circle, holding shift. So holding shift, drag, resize one side of the duplicate so that it snaps to the bigger circle. This, resize it until it attaches the line of the bigger circle. So after doing it, this, we are going to select all the circles, having the node tool selected. Come here up on your right and select the XO tool, the XO operation. So this is what happened. After clicking the XO tool, now we are going to delete the unwanted line so that we remain with only one moon-like shape. So holding control command on your keyboard, left click on the unwanted line so that it can be deleted. So after removing the unwanted lines, having the node tool still selected, select all the curve points of this moonlike shape of ours and then click on join curves so that it becomes one shape. Make sure that when you apply, the fill color is applied to the whole shape. So after doing that, click on your move tool. The next thing we are going to transform the origin of this shape of ours. So first of all, you are going to come and enable the transform origin feature. After enabling it, the origin of this shape of ours will come. So we are going to drag it and move it to the center of the page. Remember the first circle that we had was aligned to the center of this page. Make sure that it is in the exact center. You should have your snapping, your snapping operations or features enabled in Affinity Designer. So after doing that, we are going to create a duplicate of this moonlike shape of ours by pressing Ctrl Command J on your keyboard. Then rotate it to 90 degrees. So come here and type in 90 degrees. Or else you can do it manually by yourself. But to rotate it perfectly, make sure that you hold Shift and then rotate to 90 degrees. Without clicking anywhere else, press Command J or Ctrl J to power the duplicate feature so that you make 
other two duplicates so after doing that <coughs> we are going to select all of these shapes of ours and make and create duplicates out of them so select all holding command or control on your keyboard drag move downwards Make sure it snaps the other circles. It snaps exactly. So after doing this, we are going to select all of these circles of ours, forming the infinity logo. Move it to the left with the help of holding shift and then create a duplicate out of this holding control. So we are going to use this duplicate to only form one shape. So we are going to delete this shape, this, this shape is not needed, and this, this is not needed. So. Make sure that we are only left with these shapes. So select all of these shapes that we have that we are remained with. Having a node two selected, select all of these curve points. Come and break the curves. Make sure that you click on this feature. Break the curves. So we are going to delete these unwanted points and lines. So you can either press Ctrl or Command G on your keyboard and right click on the lines to be deleted or highlight these points and press delete on your keyboard. So you should remain with this and then after removing the unwanted lines and points with the node tool selected, highlight all the curve points. Come here and click on join curves. Don't worry about these lines that form up themselves. Just remove them by holding control command on your keyboard. Make sure that it's the node tool that is selected. Right click on them so that they can be deleted. Make sure that when you apply fill color, it is applied to the whole shape. So now as we are done with this, we are going to bring back to this shape of ours into this into these circles of ours. So drag it as you're holding shift. Make sure that it snaps into these circles very, very, very well. Make sure it snaps into these circles very, very well. Now, after doing that, select the move tool. Selecting this shaded shape of ours, right click, arrange, make sure that it is, it is moved to the front. Yeah, the next thing here is applying or coloring our shapes. I think the good way to color these shapes is by having alternating two colors. So. I think for my case, for my choice, <clears throat> I'm going to use two colors, red and sky blue and blue. So now I'm going to start coloring. So select this shape of ours, color it with blue. The next color is sky blue, this blue. Make sure that the colors are at least alternating. For this case, this shape and this shape, make sure that they have the same color so that it comes out perfect. This sky blue, this blue, and the same thing applies to these two shapes, this and this, this shape and this shape. Make sure that they have the same color to bring it out very well. Now, after removing 
After adding few colors, you can now remove the stroke colors. So select all with the move tool selected. Select all the circles, then click here and then remove the stroke color. Now I think I can bring this to the center of the page. I can also disable the transform origin feature, it's no longer needed. Now if at all you want, you can leave it like this or you can decide to add gradient colors in this logo of our so I think we should add gradients so that it looks more good. So grab your fill tool. Let us use select the shape and I think we are going to the best the best gradient type we are going to use the radio type. So at this point in the middle that there be sky blue and then at the end point that there be this deep blue so make adjustments of your choice uh, the same thing applies to here make sure that the type of the gradient is radio so the same thing sky blue and then deep blue continue making adjustment adjustments of your choice the one that you see that are good according to your eyes yeah this is how i've applied gradients to my logo and this is my design so i don't know what you will create but thank you for watching this video up to the end for those that have haven't subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button and if at all you have enjoy this video I've learned something in this video hit that hit the thumbs up button so thank you guys stay tuned on the channel more tutorials are coming stay blessed have a good day